too bad the clouds disappeared. It would have actually been a nice day to get some sun, but I'm stuck in this warehouse. So, as you guys know, over the, I guess, past few months or so, I haven't been the most enthusiastic about being down here, the way things have been going with the meat supply, sourcing, all that nonsense. And I don't want to be like, this is it, this is over, bringer of bad news, end of the world, I'm out of the meat business. But the property that I've been looking at purchasing for a few months now might get sold this week uh, because I've been unable to secure a loan, I've been unable to get funding. And if that happens, I don't, I don't want to jump the gun here. I don't want to say it's a done deal. I'm trying not to think about it too much. We're going to have a pretty like in-depth explanation of what's going on next week. And, and, and we'll do that next week. But uh, I'm just kind of letting you guys know that might happen. If it doesn't, I'll still talk about what's going on and what I'm trying to do. But uh, for today, we have a little bit of stuff going on. And, and the main thing that's uh, been keeping me going lately is the creativity. You know, I really do get a smile on my face when I come up with a new product, even if it's not making me money. Uh, I do really enjoy making new stuff and, and helping people with their health through that. Uh, so I do have quite a bit of things to do. It's Monday, July 5th, and everything's closed. Like UPS is closed, USPS is closed, FedEx is closed, all the shipping is closed. So I can't actually send out any orders today, uh, but we're gonna get some stuff ready for tomorrow so that everything goes out on Tuesday and you guys get all your stuff. So we had a pickup on Saturday, and th these are the packages that did not go out. So we got some stuff ready. I didn't want to go in the freezer Saturday or Sunday because I was having problems with my teeth getting too cold. So I have like 80 orders to do. I'm going to have to, uh, we're going to have to suit up like a Teletubby and our boots and get in the freezer for like two hours. Shouldn't be too bad. We do have some orders to fill on Frankie Syringe Foods and Organ Supplements. Maybe like 30 orders total between both of them. Since it's already 1230, I'm going to hop in the freezer, bang these orders out, and we'll talk afterwards. That was pretty horrible. Ended up taking about an hour and 45 minutes. Thankfully, I had some help. Otherwise, I'd be in there freezing my face off all day. So uh, let's just go in the freezer and show you guys what's going on this week and all those orders we just did. Some of you guys are asking why it sounds like I'm drunk and why I talk weird because my face is frozen. <laughs> so we got all the orders for tomorrow that we have to fill. Everything's ready, so all we have to do is put it in the styrofoam. Uh, but we got quite a few products this week in stock. So we have stew meat for everything. We have chuck stew meat, ribeye stew meat, New York strip stew meat, sirloin stew meat, bacana stew meat, every stew meat you can ever imagine. We have plenty of the tiny uh, sirloin filet steaks, which are really nice, four ounce, very affordable. We got the eight ounce filet mignon tenderloin back in stock, which I think, you know, we cut up pretty nicely portioned. Eight ounce is a nice, thick, tender tenderloin. Got plenty of ribeye back in stock. We ran out for a couple days. This is a sleeper product that I didn't even want to sell, but we got some prime New York strip that is actually kind of like Wagyu. So we have the prime New York strip steaks are very, very highly marbled. If you guys jump on those, won't have them too much longer. A couple people have found out about them. Tri-tip steak is back in stock. We got plenty of picanha steaks for you guys. Venison, everything is in stock as usual. The giveaway this week is two pounds of organic ground beef, 85.15. So this week, probably next week as well, every single order will get two pounds, 85.15 ground beef. All the lamb is here. We got lamb loin chops. We got lamb leg steaks, lamb shanks, lamb ribs, uh, lamb chops, lamb tenderloin, lamb legs, lamb burgers, lamb ground beef, lamb any way you want it. Way too much lamb stew meat, lamb kidney, lamb liver, <coughs> lamb heart. I'm coughing my brains out. A lot of picanha for you guys. Hopefully some of you buy it. Beef organs going to have to stock up on soon. Plenty of pork ribs, pork Lewis ribs, baby back ribs, pressa, all the porks in stock. We got some whole briskets back for you guys, 10, 11 pounds roughly each. We have all the whole cuts, whole tenderloin, 
whole prime rib roast, which we're running low on, whole beef belly. We got all the testicles, organs, sheep stomach. Uh, we got a ton of the chicken organs back in stock for you guys. Uh, the chicken hearts, as well as the chicken liver. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for that. All the chickens in stock, the whole chickens, the breast, the thigh, the tenders, everything. We have plenty of salmon caviar and sturgeon caviar as well. A lot of you guys were buying this, so we got some more. I guess that's really it for the freezer. Yeah, so things are going okay. I'm, I'm kind of able to keep everything in stock. Uh, we're going to have the guys make some best bars this week. So maybe in like two or three weeks, we'll do a best bar promo where you get one of each bar with your order. Definitely keep an eye out for that. Uh, so that's kind of all I have to do today. Uh, well, I should really do. We got about 15 orders on organ supplements and 15 orders on Frankie's Free Range Foods. Maybe I'll bang those out now real quick. Uh, but for the video, I just want to show you guys, I think, two more things that I'm a little bit excited about. Um, oh, and there's another product launch. Hopefully, it gets here within a month or two and we can launch it, which I'm really excited about. It's an idea I've had uh, since I was doing the bodybuilding transformation last year. Uh, it's not the natural pre-workout, which I was also thinking of doing. It's a different product, but maybe we'll do that as well. Well, let me show you guys the products we actually have now. So we've been selling the kefir for a few months now, unlabeled. So you guys have been getting a jar that looks like this. But I finally coughed up the dough for the label I wanted. And the brand name I came up with was Healing Crystals Kefir. I uh, spent a little while designing this cool little logo, you know, gold kind of diamonds, because that's what the kefir looks like. And it has a little bit about like the strains of bacteria, the instructions on how to make it, the website. Nutrition facts don't really matter. You know, I mean, if I can afford it in the future, I'd love to send all this stuff into a lab and test uh, what it actually ends up having in it from a B vitamin perspective, but soon enough. Into the dungeon. This whole place is a dungeon. So we got three new products on organ supplements. We have the magnesium oil, which has a very high concentration of magnesium chloride and MSM. It's a transdermal spray you can use. The magnesium supplement I have is one of the stronger tasting ones, so uh, this is nice, and we need so much magnesium, you know, I, I end up actually using both. I take oral magnesium with my meals, and I, I sprayed this on this morning. And this also helps against Wi-Fi EMF because, you know, the way the radiation causes damage is through displacing calcium in the body. And since magnesium regulates calcium, it can kind of help. Uh, I actually haven't gotten a headache today since I used this earlier. We have the Mastic Gum, which you guys have been buying a lot of. I'm actually like almost halfway out of it. So hopefully the demand is reasonable because the Greeks love going on vacation in August. This is how the, the pure digestive enzyme powder is going to be packaged. I should have the labels by next week. We're going to have a macronutrient blend, which is this, which has everything to digest, carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. And then we're going to have a carnivore enzyme blend, which is just going to be able to digest protein and fat. Uh, for those of you guys still carnivore. And I don't think anything beyond that is necessary. So that's going to be it for today, guys. As I said, I have to go get those orders ready for the post office tomorrow. I want to get out of here. I haven't eaten all day. I'm, I'm pretty exhausted. I got to start eating meals before I come here. I don't like eating like the snacks and stuff I get, like the jerky and the chocolate, because it makes me break out and I start getting acne. And then once I stop eating that stuff for a couple days, my skin clears up again. Uh, I also have to go to the tanning salon. Oh, we have another project that I'm working on which might be like a, a little professional TV series about something I'm pretty excited about, uh, which I'm going to film maybe sometime this weekend or next week. Uh, but I, I got to make sure my skin is nice and clear, so I do have to go tanning. So I got a bunch of things to do today, and hopefully we don't have to discuss whatever that is next week. Either way, I'll touch base on it. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. You can go to frankiesrangemeat.com for a lot of the stuff you saw today and Frankie's Range Foods for everything else. If you're curious about any of my other businesses, they're all on frank-defano.com. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.